Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On a Sunday morning in September 1863, members of the Rodney Presbyterian Church gathered for their regular Sabbath service. This particular service, however, would prove to be one the congregation would never forget. The Union gunboat, the USS Rattler, was anchored nearby in the Mississippi River that morning. Some of the federal sailors decided to attend the Sunday services. The captain of the gunboat was described as a sociable man and had attended church services a number of times. This Sunday, according to one account, the sanctuary was crowded and an extra bench had been brought down from the gallery to accommodate the sailors. Soon after services began, the congregation was startled by the sound of horses running in the streets and the rattling of cavalrymen's spurs on the brick walk. Suddenly, a Confederate officer, brandishing revolvers in each hand, entered the sanctuary and pointing the weapons on the Union sailors, announced, Surrender, you are my prisoners. The Union captain replied, We surrender, for God's sake, don't fire among the women and children. A Federal officer, however, fired on the Confederate, who in turn returned fire on him. Chaos broke out in the church. Men, women, and children started screaming, rushing the doors, jumping out of windows, all in an attempt to escape. The Confederates were successful in capturing the captain and 18 sailors, but a couple of the crew were able to escape and return to the Rattler. The gunboat's crew raised anchor and began firing broadside after broadside in, into the town. Several houses were struck by cannonballs, and according to at least one eyewitness, one entered the church. Hi, I'm Peyton Cavan, CPA with Silas Simmons LLP, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.